Yo, what's going on, Night Family? Welcome back to another video, guys. Welcome back to another vlog, baby. Back at it like a crack at it, feeling like a math addict, solving all these problems. Yes, I'm a math addict. You know? I already said math addict. Then didn't, didn't go well. But hey, today is another video, another vlog. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about Instacart versus DoorDash because today I'm doing Instacart, and I might do a little DoorDash order here and there, and I'm gonna give you guys my opinions about what I think about Instacart versus DoorDash and why I prefer Instacart over DoorDash because it just don't make no sense to do DoorDash when you have Instacart because DoorDash is literally a lower paying service that requires you to drive more miles than was needed and it has crappy tippers and crappy customers they tips two dollars for you to go five miles away and you're only getting paid four dollars just to go five miles away that ain't worth it you know that's a waste of your time it would take you about 20 minutes to finish that order when it could take you 20 minutes to finish the instacart order for 15 16 even 20 bucks even more you know so anyway man i'm up here just started off at fred meyer you know fred meyer the only god dang spot to start out boy you already know what it is oh and let's go ahead and get this vlog started. Let me pick you guys up on my first order. And yeah, man, let's get it. All right, guys. I just accepted my first little order. It's a $10 order for 10 items. So it's a quick little easy little order right here. So I'm going to get up in this store, knock this out. Should take me about five minutes to finish. Honestly, this is not that far away. This is on the first aisle as soon as I walk in. Second one, third one. Uh, fifth aisle, 17 number 22 might take me a little further but the vegetables is right there at the front entrance let's go ahead and knock this order out guys i catch you guys at the delivery all right so first off i want to talk about instacart versus doordash the time it takes you to you know in between orders so right now doordash is literally and obviously the fastest way to get orders when it comes to delivery service instacart take a quite a while sometimes you know but Instacart can be quick, depends on the location, and depends on what store you're shopping at. If this is a high value store that's like literally high demands and it's pretty busy on Instacart, you will know the stores inside of your city and you will honestly start to gravitate towards the more busier stores throughout the day. Uh, you will figure out what times of the day the stores are busy, what time of the week the stores are busy, and you know. The store that I be at is busy literally 24-7, seven days out of a week, you know. It's always busy because that's a good thing. And it's in a very highly populated area. For DoorDash, you got to do the same thing. But at the same time, you don't have to be in those highly populated areas in your city. You will get orders from five miles away, three miles away, two miles away next to you and stuff like that. So DoorDash is pretty easy when it comes to like getting orders back to back to back to back very consistent. That's what DoorDash does very well, consistency on orders. But Instacart, it could be 50-50 when it comes to consistency and inconsistency. Inconsistent. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm messing up my words. I'm from Mississippi and I get tongue-tied sometimes. So DoorDash is good when you're looking for consistent, consistent orders, but it is bad when you're looking for good value orders. So me, honestly, I value high paying orders i value decent tipping orders other than consistency i don't care if i get orders every five minutes i don't care if the orders are two dollars five dollars or six dollars every five to ten minutes five miles away ten miles away seven miles away i am not about to drive seven miles away for five freaking dollars that is absurd you know and plus you gotta wait for the order first you gotta drive to the store or the fast food place wait for the order then pick it up so it could range anywhere from as soon as you get into the fast food restaurant or it could last anywhere to 15 to 20 minutes. I literally sat in Starbucks one time for like 15 minutes waiting for an order and I wasted 30 minutes of my time just to deliver this order two miles away for four dollars. This order was at Starbucks, guys. Four dollars. Order was two miles away and Starbucks was right across the street. Took me 30 minutes to complete that order. Terrible. I would never do DoorDash again unless I'm desperate, you know. So Instacart would give you more value. It would give you more bang for your for your for your patience. You know, you could wait 20 minutes for Instacart and bang out a what? You could wait 20 minutes in a parking lot and get a $30 order instead of somebody who's like doing like accepted five orders from DoorDash and you know they going over 30 minutes for that. Sit in my car for 30 minutes, get a $30 order, or do five orders and like probably take you an hour to do those five orders depending on doordash and not even make 30 bucks you know so 
I always try to work smart, not work harder. And also in this clip right here, guys, both of the clips, I was literally walking back and forth. First clip, I literally went to the wrong side of the apartment complex, not the apartment complex, but the apartment building and had to walk all, all the way to the other side. And this one right here, I got lost. Uh, this lady right here, she literally worked there, but she do not, she did not know her complex layout. So she literally led me far away from the complex and the comp an apartment complex that the customer lived in is right on the other side of this building of that Mustang. So yeah, man, she messed me up right there. Um, also, Instacart has a higher tip, higher, not higher tip, but a higher pay, batch pay. DoorDash give you $2.00. Instacart give you six dollars or five dollars depending on where you at. I'm in Oregon, so the West Coast always give you higher pay because the cost of living is higher. Six bucks here in Oregon. It used to be eight bucks, but it dropped down two dollars. We already we already know about that situation. So you're already winning on Instacart. I choose Instacart because you get six dollars. DoorDash pay you two dollars. Also, tippers. Instacart has better tippers. I there 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 are so many orders that I did. Honestly, that that was like uh what five items 10 items 20 items for like 15 20 to 30 bucks a mile away i did so many orders like that that paid me 15 bucks for 10 items as a mile away and it took me like 15 20 minutes to complete that order and hold that shop uh check out and deliver and come back 20 minutes just to finish that for 15 bucks bro sometimes 30 bucks instacart is simply pays you higher tips they have higher tippers better tippers doordash i feel like doordash tippers are like you know they, 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 i don't know what doordash tippers are, are are doing bro like their tippers are nothing like instacart tippers these people will literally tip you two dollars they live 10 miles away from the damn restaurant why are you tipping two dollars when you live 10 miles away from the restaurant and a lot of times these people don't think about you as a delivery driver, only thing they're thinking about is their budget. And it's very reasonable and it's very understandable. A lot of people care about their budget other than a delivery driver. Uh, a lot of people on DoorDash and Instacart do not know that we don't get paid by the hour. A lot of Instacart and DoorDash customers do not know we get paid by the hour. Oh, huh. they, they think we get paid by the hour or they think we get a certain amount of pay or they just don't care at all. It's either or it's either of the three. It's either of the three. But, uh, you know, Instacart has way more uh, perks. Instacart give you up to 75% off on oil changes. If you're a diamond status, I got 75% off on oil changes. They do some type of promotion for Upstart. Or upstart. That's like gasoline. You save 50% uh, back on cash. They had that feature going on, bring uh, promo going on for a short period of time, for like a month. So I took advantage of that. They have child care care for your elderly uh for instacart they have that uh they also partner with like different type of automotive companies so that's pretty good for you uh what else prioritize batches and they do not punish you instacart do not punish you for not accepting orders instacart do not punish you for not accepting orders doordash punish you for not accepting orders you decline a doordash order they literally punish you bro they will make you wait for more more and more time before they send you another order bro doordash wants you to accept trash orders bro they like honestly it would tell you that your acceptance rates affect how many orders you receive and it affects the type of orders you see my doordash is right here guys my doordash acceptance rates is right here because i i refuse to accept bs bro I refuse to sell BS. I am not about to drive 10 miles away for 10 bucks. You, you're out of your mind, bro. And they'd be like, oh, you drove 10 miles out of your out of your zone. You got to go back to your zone. So I got to drive all the way back to my zone just to do some more orders. So I drove 10 miles that way and 10 miles back. So I wasted 20 miles per gallon in my car just to drive 10 miles away and 10 miles back into my zone. That is a that is total BS, bro. That is total BS, honestly um i feel like instacart gives you a wide variety of options to shop in the united states of america and also canada and guys instacart you do not have to clock in you hold on instacart you do not have to schedule yourself you do not have to sit there and be like man i can't get this time you don't have to rush you don't have to schedule you don't even have to be in a zone 
Instacart, you can just freely do what you want to do, bro. Instacart, you can freely do what you want to do. You can go to different states. You can clock in and out whenever you want to. You're not restricted. Honestly, you're not restricted to do anything. Anything. Instacart is free to browse around your country. You can go anywhere with Instacart, bro. Anytime you want to go online, you can go online. Anytime you want to check in, you can check in. DoorDash, you can't do that. Um, Instacart started to become overpopulated, but at the same time, I like the model that they're going with. Uh, that they're not restricting you to when you can when can you check in. Uh, DoorDash definitely limit limits you to when you can check in. I hate that. It sucks, but it is what it is, you know. But anyway, man. Yeah, man. If you guys want me to go into more detail about this, I would love to elaborate and just go over the reasons why. I prefer Instacart over DoorDash. I will let you guys know. I will go into a more in detail with it. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and wrap this vlog up, bro. It's not even a vlog. Woo! This is a regular video, Beautiful man. I'm about to start talking. Live commentating. Go. Galaxy S24 Ultra doing this justice. You already know. But anyway, man. <laughs> Just finished doing Instacart. Made 126 ish dollars, I believe. I believe I make 126 dollars a day. Good day today. Uh, you know, about to go get some Wendy's and wrap it up for the day, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. I hope you did. Might do something else later today. Might go find a backpack because I do need one. My shampoo bottle popped open inside of my uh, backpack, so my backpack got like sticky, slimy residue from shampoo. You know, it's not fun. It's not cool. It's shape moisture, by the way. So it's a high quality type stuff, you know? But, hey, beautiful day outside. Pick you guys up when I do something else. Let's go. All right, night family. I'm about to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy yourself watching this video, and if you want me to go into more detail on Instacart and versus DoorDash, I would love to elaborate more on that situation because I feel like I got a lot more to say about Instacart and DoorDash. Um, I'm, just, I'm just gonna make another video, bro. Just gonna make another video. And right now, I'm out here at 24 Hour Fitness in my little camping zone. Um, was playing Xbox in my car. Hold on, is that a is that a uh is that a McLaren? Hold on, let me, let me zoom in real quick. That a, that is a McLaren. Yeah, I'm a nerd by the way, guys. So that is a McLaren. Let me get close on this McLaren, bro. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, don't ask me how I knew it was a McLaren from this far out. Like, I just know cars, bro. So, this looked like a McLaren 570S. Looked like the sport version right here. If it's not a 570S, this is definitely not a 720. So, this guy want to park beside the McLaren. Bro, if I ever had a McLaren, bro, you would never see me parking around anybody else, bro. But... Yeah, man, I'm gonna ask this person, why you wanna park beside a McLaren, bro? But this is a McLaren 570 S right here. Actually, it's not. This is a 2015 McLaren. Older version. But it's still nice, dude, it's still nice. I'll tell you that. But anyway, man, <laughs> this outro too long. But I'm about to come in here, do something. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to actually make a video about it. Uh, I will definitely do that. Anyway, love you guys. I'm out. Peace.